Hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, there's been a development in the possible global recall of the Hyundai Group EGMP platform ICCUs. I'll just take a step back and explain what an ICCU is if people don't already know. Most of you will. It's the Integrated Charging Control Unit. It's what's inside the EV6, the Ionic 5, the Ionic 6 and the Genesis GV60. It's a voltage converter that converts or inverts voltages. It's also responsible for charging the 12 volt battery and running all of the 12 volt systems in the car. It does this via what, what is called a low voltage DC system, which is built into the ICCU. The ICCU also is responsible for the vehicle to load output, so you can power things off it. And it's also responsible for AC charging via its onboard charger. So it's multiple functions are in this one box. If you're used to an internal combustion engine car, um, it's it, the, the ICCU LDC function is doing what the alternator does of charging the 12 volt battery and running the 12 volt systems in the car. Obviously, there's lots of safety systems that run 12 volt in the car. So uh, the car will protect itself and, and bring you to a, hopefully to a safe stop if something happens with this ICCU and there's a fault condition. Somebody asked me in the comments this morning if I would still buy an EV6 despite this. And I said yes, without even thinking about it. It's still the best damn car I've ever, ever owned. So, of course I'm going to still buy another one. Um, I had a Ford Focus EcoBoost 1 litre for five years before. And they were notorious for engines that would eventually blow up. And there's been ongoing issues with those. But I never had a single issue with it. So Hyundai is not the first and won't be the last of manufacturers that have these ongoing issues. They happen all the time. And I think there was even a Ford Mackey ICCU problem um, maybe a year or two back. They had a recall on those. So, so things like this happen a lot. It's just part and parcel of having a modern car, I think. Anyway, down to the news. This morning via um, community uh, tab, on YouTube, um, I, I noticed uh, technically Jeff and Ionic Guy posted that uh, the Ionic 5 has been recalled in the US. In the US, there's a website for Hyundai recall checks and service campaigns, but you need a VIN number for it. So using AutoTrader, and I found a, an Ionic 5 in um, zip code 90210, because that's the only one I know. <laughs> um, I got I got a VIN number and then I put that into this uh, safety recalls and service campaigns. I'll put this link in the description or, or above. And 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 as they've said, recall two five seven, Hyundai Motor Group North America and, and Genesis Motor Group North America is init initiating recall campaigns two five seven oh two one G safety recalls addressing condition involved in the ICCU in certain model year Hyundai and Genesis vehicles in the US and Canada. Hyundai Genesis are conducting the action to ensure the safety of its vehicle for Hyundai and Genesis customers. The subject vehicles are equipped with an integrated charging control unit which charges the vehicle's 12 volt auxiliary battery and powers low voltage accessory equipment. The ICCU may be subject to certain electrical load conditions that can damage internal components and open the ICCU fuse. An open ICCU fuse results in an inability to charge the 12 volt auxiliary battery. Upon fault detection and accompanied by a series of driver warnings, the vehicle will enter design intended fail safe driving mode that allows immediate full propulsion whilst gradually reducing motive power over an extended time period. Vehicle systems such as airbags, braking, and powered steering remain operational. If the vehicle continues to be driven an extended distance in fail safe mode with a malfunction indicator lamp, illuminated and warning messages in the instrument cluster, the vehicle could eventually lose all motive power, potentially increasing the risk of a crash. In the remedy box, it's got all owners of the subject vehicles will be notified by first class mail with instructions to bring their vehicles to a high end dealer or Genesis retailer, have the ICCU software replaced if necessary, and the remedy will be offered at no cost to owners for all affected vehicles, regardless of whether the affected vehicles are still covered under Hyundai's or Genesis's new vehicle limited warranty. Additionally, Hyundai Genesis will provide owners of affected vehicles uh, with reimbursement for out-of-pocket expenses incurred to obtain a remedy for the recall condition, 
in accordance with the reimbursement plan submitted to NHTSA on the February the 22nd, 2024. Uh, this campaign date is March the 15th, 2024. So this goes back to last week and ties up with the stuff that was happening in South Korea. So as of yet, this is, hasn't happened on the Kia side in America, but I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be a, another technical service bulletin being released, so we'll see more details of what's going on, fingers crossed. Um, I contacted my dealer service desk and they have no open recalls for mine at the moment, but that's not unusual because it takes several weeks for stuff to trickle down from North American recalls to the rest of the world. So I think this is a new recall and it's definitely happening and I'm glad it's happening because we need some security and clarity that our cars will keep on running. As I said, I'd still buy an EV6. Um, and seven year warranty helps and I'm sure they get into the bottom of all this and fingers crossed all of us will hopefully have this fixed and the problem will go away. Anyway, that's where we are at the moment. If anybody in Europe or the UK or anywhere else besides America has seen this recall campaign, please let me know and let us know any details if you can and I'll pass them on. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.